Hello, it's Sophie. Welcome to Sophie Co. And today we are from a different angle. Ooh, the reason for that is that it's already, already dark. It's like not even six o'clock and it's already pitch black outside. Um, so I've had to draw the blinds down. I've had to put the main lights on and that kind of made my face all really weird and shadowy from the, the angle I was at. Um, it's a little bit weird here. I really need to get some proper lighting. I will get some proper lighting or just film at a more suitable time of day. But that day is not today, people. <laughs> so what I want to talk to you about today is water bottles and coffee cups. Now, I'm sure if, I'm sure unless you have literally been living under a rock for the last few months, um, you will have seen lots and lots in the news about the amount of coffee cups, disposable coffee cups, and the amount of plastic water bottles that are used, um, and the huge effect that that is having on the environment, particularly on the oceans. I looked up some statistics for this and apparently in the UK every year we throw away 13 billion, 13 billion water bottles and 2.5 billion coffee cups. That's, that's just crazy. Now some of those plastic bottles are probably getting recycled but as I mentioned in my recycling video, <laughs> recycling plastic is not the be all and ends all. The ideal is that we're not producing the plastic in the first place because half the time it's not actually getting recycled. Um, and if it is getting recycled, it can only be recycled so many times. So still not as good as using something like glass. When it comes to coffee cups, coffee cups are ridiculously difficult to recycle. Like it is possible to recycle them, but places do not bother um, because it's just so, so impossible. I know that um, a little while ago, I forget how long ago this was, this was probably like 10 months ago I heard this, um, that Costa Coffee were volunteering to recycle coffee cups. But then I also heard from someone else in a Facebook group that I'm on that they saw people just chucking all the recycling cups, um, sorry, the cups that should have been going to the recycling in the normal w um, waste bin. So. I don't really know how true that is. I guess it's as true as the McDonald's. Um, I don't know if you've heard that McDonald's have all these different compartments for you to split your waste into, but then yeah, they just chuck it all into one bin at the end of the day. Also, I don't I don't want to, you know, blasphemy, blasphemy, blasphies, blasphemies, um, blaspheme, that's the word. Um, I don't want to like blaspheme or accuse that would have been a better word to use. Accuse a company of anything that I have not myself seen them do, but I know people who have seen um, McDonald's and Costa Coffee do that. So even if you think that your stuff's getting recycled, not necessarily getting recycled. So I've been using water bottles, like reusable water bottles for a, a very long time. Um, I bought this one a little while ago. Ooh, it says, I don't sweat, this is pixie dust. Ahaha, ahaha, except I do really sweat. Um, I do kung fu, and when I do my kung fu classes, I really do sweat a lot. Um, just in case you wanted to know that. But I really like this. Um, I still really like the design of it. Um, even though it's plastic, I've said before, I don't mind plastic as long as it's being reused and it's not being sent to landfill, but the problem with this bottle was not that it was plastic, it's that it's absolutely huge. <laughs> like, this is this is it next to my head. And I have quite a big head. So while this bottle is great for if I'm going to the gym, if I'm going to Kung Fu, if I'm going to perhaps an all-day rehearsal, I work in theatre quite a lot, so if I've got an all-day rehearsal, this is fabulous. This is going to keep me going quite a while. Um, but for just for average day-to-day, -day, it's far too big to fit in my bag and I didn't think that through when I bought it. So I did have to go and get out another one. This is the water bottle that I bought instead. Ooh, I really like it. It's got this funky marble pattern on it and it is made of metal, which is a more sustainable material than plastic. Now, I didn't realize when I bought this that the brand Chili's existed. I just saw a 
water bottle that was made of metal and it was like yeah this bottle is really great because not only is it, is it made of sustainable materials but it will keep your drinks really cold or really hot Ooh, and i was like yeah i'm sold this this is the water bottle that i need so I didn't know that chilies existed. And I took this into work one day and one of my colleagues came up to me and was like, oh, Sophie, is that a chilies? Is that a chilies? And I was like, mm -hmm. are you talking about chili the country? Are you talking about chili the food? Um, I was really confused. Um, so no, this is not an actual chilies, um, but it does the job really, really well. Um, it really does keep your water cool, which in summer, particularly the last couple of summers we've had, has been a lifesaver. So onto my coffee cups. I have three coffee cups. The only one of these I actually bought myself, and that is this one. Um, yes, it has got glitter on it, but it is encased. Um, it's kind of like underneath it. So unless this breaks, the glitter is not getting out. It's also got this resealable top which means that you can kind of like, if you're dancing around with it, you're probably okay. I don't know why you dance around with coffee, but you know, don't judge my life. <laughs> also, I know some people like to kind of throw their coffee cups in their bags. I don't personally understand that because if I'm having coffee in the morning, I need my coffee in the morning and I'm going to be drinking it right there and then. But you know, if that's you, then this is the kind of cup with the resealable top that's probably good for you. So these are the two coffee cups that I use the most just because they are so beautiful and so precious. They were both gifts. Um, this is the one. Oh, I'll bring it up close. Um, this is basically two of my favorite things in one because first of all, it is the cartoon cat character, Pusheen. Um, if you haven't seen Pusheen then first of all you've clearly not been on Facebook because Pusheen is all everywhere on Facebook um but Pusheen is a cartoon cat character um started as a comic strip online and then kind of exploded into this cartoon icon um at the risk of sounding like an absolute his hipster I was into Pusheen before it was cool um I read the original comic strip online um before Pusheen was on Facebook and kind of everywhere as merchandise so yes it's got Pusheen and also the second thing it's got a terrible pun cat Pushino. aha aha ha, ha, ha. oh it's so terrible and I love it now the other reusable coffee cup I have I'm really hoping I'm not going to get any backlash over um so I'm going to hold it up whichever side I'm not sure there we go so it's another Pusheen one. Um, so my mum bought it for me um, because she was like, oh, Sophie loves Pusheen and she loves coffee. Ooh. Um, and I, I really, really, really love it. I just want to point out quickly that I am a big, big fan of anything sparkly, but I do also understand the huge amount of damage that glitter can cause. Um, so with that in mind, I just want to say that like, I don't know if this is actual glitter or if they just somehow managed to make it look glittery because you know with things that are actually glittery the glitter is just constantly falling off this doesn't i can't like i don't know if you can see this anyway but there is there is no glitter on my hand i've just been holding this and that's kind of where the danger of glitter comes in it's when it it comes off things um particularly when um animals and sea creatures eat it thinking that it's food and it's not food and it can potentially you know damage them or kill them but yeah I don't think I'm having that problem with this one not that I would necessarily advocate for buying um, a glittery cup but I don't seem to be having that problem with this one so this is a thing that I really wanted to talk about in this video because a lot of people talk about the environmental cost of purchasing water bottles and purchasing coffee in disposable cups um but there is a financial benefit as well and i just kind of wanted to point out exactly how huge that financial benefit is um so again i did some calculations getting a little bit close to the camera i'm going to come back a little bit so i know that these calculations are not going to apply to everyone um but this is on the basis of somebody who works a full-time job 
um, working five days a week. I did it for 48 weeks of the year on the basis that most people would <laughs> normally <laughs> have holiday. Um, and on the basis that you would buy a bottle of water and a coffee cup every single day that you're going to work. I know that's not the case for everyone, but I also know some people who that is the case for. So this is for you guys. <laughs> the cheapest bottle of water that I can recall seeing um, is just a 500 milliliter bottle of water and that's for 80 pence. So on the basis of spending 80 pence a day during your working days, I calculated that you would spend 192 pounds a year on bottled water. And again, for coffee, I'm taking um, a relatively cheap coffee. You don't usually see coffee for less than two pounds a pop, unless it's like, you know, an espresso. But assuming that your drink is two pounds, which is probably not, it's probably more than that, but on the assumption that it's two pounds, you would be spending 480 pounds a year on coffee. Now, the reason that that's relevant, um, because you might think, well, even if I bring my reusable cup, I'm still going to be spending that much money. Alas, um, that was definitely the incorrect use of alas. Um, I'm going with it anyway. Just <laughs> rock your decisions, rock your decisions, girl. So even if you decide to still continue going to coffee shops and buying coffee, if you bring your reusable cup, a lot of the big name chains offer discounts and a lot of independent stores offer discounts as well. Um, now I've got a lot of the dif different discounts for the chains. Obviously I don't have a list of all the dif discounts from all the different independent coffee stores um, because that would run into the hundreds and I would just be here for an hour um, talking about every single one of those and nobody wants that, least of all me. Like the most well-known ones, um, Cafe Nero, you can get double stamps on your loyalty card. Cafe Nero was always, always my favorite when I used to get coffee all the time. Um, because yeah, I, I just wanna point out that I used to do this. I used to get coffee in a disposable cup quite regularly, not as regularly as five times a week, every week, but quite regularly. Um, but yeah, Cafe Nero is still one of my favorite places for takeaway coffee. Just this time it's in a takeaway reusable cup and the way that the stamps work is that if you get 10 stamps you get a free coffee so basically if you buy free coffee if you buy five coffees and you use your reusable cup you're then going to get a sixth coffee free if you go to greg's um good old greg's um i always tell people that who are coming over to britain for the first time the true british experience is going to Greg's <laughs> and getting a pasty. Um, but you can also get coffee from Greg's, which again was a thing that I didn't know until one of my work colleagues came in holding her Greg's reusable cup. I was like, I just saved money at Greg's. Um, so you save 20p every time you buy coffee from Greg's if you use a reusable cup. Um, if you go to Starbucks, Costa Coffee or Pumpkin Coffee, Pumpkin's the one that you'll often see on train station platforms they will give you 25p off for each coffee. And then here's the big one. Um, if you get coffee from Patisserie Valerie, Paul, or one of my favorites, Pret-a-Manger, you will get 50p off for each cup of coffee that you buy. Now, again, if you buy coffee every single day, five days a week for 48 weeks of the year, that will save you 120 pounds across the year. Now, no matter what reusable cup you're buying, your reusable cu cup is not costing more than 120 pounds. So you're definitely gonna recoup the costs and more by getting a reusable cup. Of course, you could just do what I do and <laughs> just make your own coffee at home and bring it to work with you. Um, I'm not classy, I use instant. Um, I still go out for a, a sit down coffee at a proper coffee shop and enjoy that every now and again. Um, and occasionally, yeah, I will bring my reusable cup with me to a coffee shop, but 99% of the time I'm making coffee at home and taking it to work with me. Um, now, if you are a coffee snob, no shame in being a coffee snob. I kind of wish I was, but I'm just not classy enough a person to be that. If you are fussy about your coffee, 
It's also worth pointing out that, that if, as I said, if you're not um, buying coffee every single day, that's 480 pounds at least that you're saving. Now that is enough to get you some fancy coffee gear um, to make your own fancy coffee at home. So you're still gonna be saving a lot of money. You're still gonna be saving the environment. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. I am going to include a link to a little graphic um, in the description below. Um, that's got a list of all the different companies and the discounts that they offer, um, which is precisely where I got my information from, but also I kind of knew most of them anyway, because I am a bit of a coffee fan anyway. But I also have this graphic saved on my phone, so if I am out and about and I forget what places um, offer what discounts, I've got it on my phone, um, so I thought I'd link it below in case that would be helpful for any of you guys when you're out and about. Um, also, let me know what you use. Do you already have a reusable water bottle and reusable coffee cup? What ones do you have? Do you have one of the fancy Chili's water bottles? Or Keep, kind of Keep Cup is the famous coffee cup brand, isn't it? Keep Cup. Um, I've never owned a Keep Cup um, and I don't want a Keep Cup because I've already got three perfectly good coffee cups. Um, when these three break, which inevitably will happen at some point, then I might look into getting a Keep Cup, but right now it's fine. Um, but do you have a Keep Cup? Do you think Keep Cup is a good brand? Um, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of my beautiful face, um, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That is all from me for this week. Have a lovely week. Enjoy my blinds and this view. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to be filming again from this view. Um, I, quite, I quite like it though. It makes me look a little bit more serene and organised than I actually am. Um, so I will see you next week. Take care my dears and goodbye for now.